Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, hopefully you can hear me, right? Hopefully you can hear the train. Let's feel me a little uh, train ride or be rather simulator here. I've decided that I'm going to start another TV simulator series. I'm a, I'm, I've been playing this for a little while, mainly in sandbox, just to mess around and get to grips with most of the physics, like the physics of the boiler explosion and other things. So I've just found this job, 285 tons, the freight order to deliver steel rails to the harbour town. I'm going to see if there's anything else. I don't think there is. I know there's some shovels in there. You have an absolute massive time limit. Time of 108 minutes. This is in standard. That has 40 of you. You can't accept that it's a long one. We have 72 minutes in that, but that's long too. A lot of this is out of our room. So, yeah. As I suspected, that could be. That one needs long one license. That needs long one. That needs long one. That needs logistical. No. Let me just go over that again. I need shunting and long one. Shunting and long one. Shunting and long two. Long one. Logistical order long two. Long one. Long two. Shunting. Long one, shunting, long one. So, S, so Sierra Mike, Foxtrot Hotel, Q3, it's about the only one to take. So, let's just go and get ourselves a DE2. Let's go get our switch. That is for Foxtrot Hotel. I think this would be our train. That's what it is. Yes. This is the one. Here are my top top hotel two for you. I wanted to show you one. Let's just climb up. So this appears to be our train. Ah, and another feature. You can now put Right next to it, any colour gondola. Before in the original CD Rubber Lodge, when they had a gondola, when they had a gondola, an um, open top gondola, right you couldn't exactly put anything in any of the other ones up in the red one. I think that's a really nice detail to touch up in there. Considering that we never had that before. And that was restarting the bug in the world. So, if you go to the dash here, there are the new locomotive, SO60, SO60. Now, this is the one we want, DEC. I'll just get this uh, fire up here, and then we'll go get the turntable line. Difficulty. 
I'm going to stand by the one side. every few days. So I think on the D-Roll Valley, I'm going to shoot for daily, but I'll be recording two, three videos at once. I'm going to only record one video today, which is Saturday. In other words, daily. If you're in the US, 
this will release it faster. If you're in Australia or somewhere where it is in the southern hemisphere, because I'm recording this quite late at night, being roughly 6 pm, which is quite late, if you're seeing this down in the southern hemisphere, so if you're seeing this from the southern hemisphere or somewhere that is ahead, because this video will be probably coming out anywhere between 7 pm and 9 pm BS, GMT, sorry. Because this will probably be coming out between 7 pm and 9 pm GMT. A lot of people, specifically my viewers from UTC plus the gray, like for those who are six, you know, from UTC plus the gray and above, you will probably not see it then on Saturday. Maybe you'll be seeing it on Sunday. I'm gonna have to stay more on that because I'm not trying to make it like realistic or anything. I'm just gonna stay, let us allow ourselves to cut this. So I'm not gonna push the train, instead I'm gonna pull it. I know a lot of people who are just really in space and have to and just run up behind the train. Normally push, and normally smash the train, which in turn damages both the cars, which reduces your active amount of reduces your active which is a decrease of wear on your view of locomotive. But also it tends to smash the window. And the sound of an engine, the sound of an engine gets the sound the droning sound of the engine just gets me. The fact that you're probably being blasted by cold air makes you feel quite chilly IRL. around. Which I'm trying to actually say warm my now because my radiator gets broken and I'm like freezing cold. I'm actually going to put a lot of certain stuff turn on the cap. If this actually does, I know it's only on the GE6, but I don't think it's turned on the What if I just trigger? So I'm just going to let off the brake. Oh, we're going to stop and switch. That's fine. The flies are coming out. How? We've got these godly sweets. Put in the power there. And I am going to be trying to do things as real as possible. Maybe not so much on the entire directional warm line. Specifically, these areas in realism in terms of lighting and certain other things. Ah, oh, jobs to support. So, yes, this is FH2, this is Freight Wall 2 3, so here are my Fox Shot Hotel 2 3, which, for those which simply put it, is still well Freight Wall 2 3. Now, when we're shoving back and switching, I'm going to at least we can go to the three world. That's the three world. And it's I'm not trying to do it. Yeah, wrong.
Now, yes, we're going to be responsible out about coughing and do it the right way. We're going to do it in a slow and quick way. A slow way. A slow and productive way, but not a lazy way. It's a lazy way. It's a lazy way. Because I'm trying to be... I want this series to be the look as productive as possible in the face of would be nice, considering that this is on the channel with on the channel subscribe. I'm probably going to take a quick thumbnail This would be the perfect thumbnail. Exactly where this is going. This will be going into the E yard. It will likely be going in the E or G yard. Probably won't be going in the C and D yard. Definitely won't be going in the B yard because the B yard is the, the Bravo yard is the military road. Won't be going here because these are locomotive storage tracks. The Charlie Yard is a liquid storage, so the liquid loading and unloading yard. Golf is is mainly reserved for tankers. Can I think mainly empty tankers and empty vehicles, but I could be mistaken. Delta is the loading and unloading. And the Echo is where most general freight is So let's go. So this is the Bravo. Bravo, which is the military name. Charlie, which is going to be lovely slogan. Delta, there you go, crazy slogan. Echo is the transfer yard. This is a transfer yard. 
I'll try it for fashion station, so that'll be no good. Then you trans another transfer yard, which is gold. Then the harbour itself is quite big, complex. I'm gonna take I'm gonna believe it. Bravo to, Bravo to Oscar, going out, Echo Eight India, that's normally where it's thinking heal me go, Echo Eight India. Oh, geez. my bad. I'm going to stop playing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put my thumbs up, because I like to use my thumbs up, it's still going to be wild. And I'm going to use my job. I'm just going to put my wallet. Why am I on? Well, the wallet's not needed for much, and I need it. I'm going to put my I'm going to turn up our wheel on there. Because nothing's going to be ready. I'm just going to quickly swing off that chest and kind of that fly. Normally on the leading car there is a sun ray to fly. I'm not familiar with handbrakes yet. Hopefully that handbrake is loose and have to fly there. But I will swing off, I will not swing off. I will go to the exterior of the Normally, brake contacts have at least one brake car. I have just like that, my bad. There is a handbrake applied somewhere on the train, there should be. Unless that's just on the yards with my kilos. Ah! Handbrake, just need to remember this. In most cases, handbrake, handbrake should be switched to the left. And normally, I'll apply it on the the rear most car, which will be beneficial to us. So let's drop in here. Now the unit and the mouse mode can change a lot of things. Like, here we go. It doesn't put in the top right. Did you know that um all that temperature? Why not? That should be taken off Let's get up to a reason. Amount of shunting and switching on the camera. You won't see it. I know that spending ages and ages shunting is boring. But I think today we're going to get the shunting license. Now, please note. Every video, we should start out where we left off. Now, the reason for that, because pretty much every yard is pretty big. The majority of yards are. The only ones that are sort of are more or less quote unquote anomalies for this are forest. Central and forest south and sawmill. There's not much to switch there apart from not. Coal mine, iron ore mine, coal mine, iron ore mine east, iron ore mine west, they're about the same. 
Oil well known, oil is central, we can't switch, we don't have to have the one. City South West is actually surprising. It's not as complicated as the harbour, but it's still fairly, still relatively complicated. The harbour is in, indeed a lot more complicated, but I actually know my way around the harbour a lot better because none of the yard layouts have changed at all. Most of the yards have stayed as they were before. We had a bit of more power. Now, if you're going to keep an eye on that temperature, so we don't blow a tractor into it, then we have to go and find a rescue. Because it's a long way to forest stent south. And it's a long way, and we can't get onto the front and the oil of central unless we go all the way round, which we need to go all the way round, down, or anywhere, anywhere past the farm. We have this thing out. Now the train brake. Let's apply the train brake. We have just unfortunately stood out. We just allow our traction brake to pedal all again. We let it fall back down to roughly. And then we we're not even that far off the brake either. I probably should have brought it up a bit more in the yard. Had a bit more support to work with here. So we're going to add in a power. And then we just want to get a bit of steam. We're not getting there. Let's roll ourselves down the hill. We're not going to let it go too quick. We're just going to run into the yard. It's all about a glitch on the map. I think it's still going to be a few bugs like that. It's going to be a few glitches like that. Why should I just shine? Because I want, I want to change that direction. So I'm just going to get off the power here. I'm going to try hitting this bed a lot faster. Go away! Play! No, I'm recording! You bang on the door and I was nothing. Okay, so as I was saying, we're going to get killed with a lot more speed than oh, we did before. We hit it only about 15 pages an hour. So if I can just get all the way back down to the yard, just past this, like, just past this jump. I was about to quit a wire for a second. It's not a wire. So I'm just going to skip one. Then I'm going to go two. As soon as I pass the switch, I'm just going to lay on the front. Right, right. Collision, collision. What are we pushing? Oh, we just pushed the freight train out the yard. 
Oh, he's on break. Oh, that was good thing. Let's just ignore the train accident. Break for off. That train's probably gonna end up running. Since I'm bright. That's probably about to run away down the road, but I should probably go put a handbrake on. Who left this handbrake? This handbrake, this handbrake should have been left on. That one stopped. Let's just take it back to the train here. Our train. I don't realise I can switch it out. Then jump.
Oh, we're getting real slow there, I think. I think we're just going to allow the traction to just cool down. So I'm going to release the brakes. Not the Indy brakes, I suspect we might have to the brake from the brake on or something, maybe? Just check the other people. It's the only thing that could just be holding the back here. Don't seem to be able to hold this back. I think we could go live. I think increasingly horrendous strain on Lay down the sand. Lay down it on the bottom and just try to power ourselves out. Fifty days. You don't want to get ready to stop breathing. You have that fat car. You have that three car stop rumbling over. We want to prepare for the break. So I'm actually going to give us a stupid thing. Because the D2 doesn't have dynamic. I'm going to counteract this camera. Yeah. 
Good way to go and try now, but have to do considering we are. We're basically out, we're basically out trying to get it. I would probably need to be down in the harbour town, or run to the corner, so I So, yeah, let's just get to the floor. Give me one more shot, it's where yeah. the ground is set for we'll end the episode and I'll just leave this one. Because like, we're 48 minutes in already. So we're 50 minutes in, then I don't really want to avoid this now with just me trying, repeating myself, trying to get up a hill. And failing each time. Absolutely miserably. That is a ton of beautiful blue slide. Oh, 
Very small point. Seventeen kilometers. A temperature to the fall. But that's a very small. Don't want to be a star. Just to be a star. Our speed is moving. Very, very. It's slow. It's quite a slow rate, but also that rate is pretty alarming. We're just going to barely make down to this many tries, many fires, but I'm glad to say that we're off the hill. And our speed is increasing. I'm gonna let our, I'm gonna wait for our speed to grasp. Because I don't want to see the sun get stuck. Oh, that's a good one. I think it's not about to be 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 about Fine. Well, I'm still going to allow the speed to get up here. Yeah. Love the fact that you know.
bottom box. Keep closing on the back. Quit. And also, when we're losing the sand, it is just when we're losing the sand, shed rope. That could later be concerned, especially when we're on steeper hills that go up by like three, four, two, 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 three percent. Because we don't need to worry about checking wheel slip, making sure we need to slip. It's some of the hills between the good the oil well goods factory and the food factory. We all be well. There's also a few other good reasons to worry about surfing, considering the region. Is it all that flat around the harbour? We're about to descend down a relatively steep mountain, which, from my knowledge, actually goes down one thing, something like two to three percent, in which we're going to need to be careful on our braces. So I'm going to try and hold forward. And just let the speed sort of... I'm just going to sort of use gravity and let the gravity slide down. Specifically in the curves here as well, because there are two sections specific. It's not important. I don't want to burn up all that much. I don't want to burn our brakes. Because without a dynamic brake, without there being a dynamic brake, it's all too easy just to burn up the brakes. So we've got to be careful. It's only 200 tons. We're not SP7551, please. And we're not trying. But if we do 
button on my brakes. Because this sort of region area, the lot of the steep downhill grade, this is basically where is it? It's essentially we're on the Cajon Pass of of D Rail Valley. This section down the harbour, it gets really steep. Also really sharp curves. Through specifically this bit, there's a couple of quite sharp curves, and you've got more sharp curves coming into the harbour. More low speed rate. Sharp curves. And that's not good. And where we don't want to burn up our brains and go off the edge. First episode. That that's gonna be helpful. I was thinking, because I'm gonna obtain the shunting license at the very end of the episode. In the next episode, you will probably see me with a 15 grand or more pockets. Like I said, I'm gonna do some I'm gonna record episode two straight after the heat. Like next, and I'll probably do maybe one shot, maybe one or two, because I want to make episode two, which will be tomorrow's episode, quite quick episode. And then, because tomorrow I need to record five more episodes. I need to five episodes for weekdays. Would take me a total of a grand total of ten hours. With an hour break in between. So an hour of recording and an hour of work, and an hour of uh, shunting from the place the hours. And then the, the nasty old site papers. That's a grand total. Now come to think of it, 10 hours is not that much. But anyway, let's get back on up to speed. So we are edging on to 20. Which is good that we've lost roughly 20 kilometers an hour of speed. Considering it's quite to get yes, a whole lot more wild here. We're already an hour and five minutes. Concern. Not good that we're an hour and five minutes in. We have two interruptions which are actually on the mic. Two hours in, an hour in. And a disruption already. Well, three disruptions. a lot. Just to prevent ourselves from slowing down. The track oh, is super cool. We are going to just increase our speed. We don't want to increase our speed too far. Coming through here. This drops down right outside of this tunnel to a four. Now this is that these signs are quite inactive. As you go through you then it's seven on a on a one by one percent right. That goes off, that's a big loop. Okay? That's just a big loop unless you're planning unless you've got a unit that you need to go that way. Because let me show you. That big loop, that just goes up there, is where the reverse of train up there to maintain a net, or you need to run all the way around to the harbour, all the way back up. You need to run all the way down to the harbour, 
Daniel Gillen, il vient en lié, si je vais ramener la pente pour vous. Il est même back up the ground. Which... We just tore his camera down. So it's here for 1841, and I need to... I need to get the other one for the ship. Yeah. So this is going to be cutting it just stupidly close. Because this is cutting it, it's extremely close. Knowing that something is weird. Ultimately, it's bound, bound to go wrong. So, I'm just going to leave the reverse of us. If the speed creeps up to over 50, specifically this 40 bit, I would switch. I would put it right in the brakes. If the brakes were full of major feelings, I would probably have to switch the reverse. But, Disaster, not only the traction, but the unit itself. I can hear the audible effect. If I'm not mistaken, it's actually going to take me all the way down. Until you get to Let's swipe the toe, swipe that toe, not off the hill, here, then it's straight up downhill in the harbour, which is, the harbour in itself is just a little flatter. We're just going to cruise through this tunnel again. Legend is 25 kilometers an hour. Wow. Game and speed is close. I'm mean, going you know, deliberately only use the info just to save us burning up at the train brake. The train brakes I'm going to try and use in the last resort if I can help it. Because I would rather not burn up the indie I would rather burn up the indie work and not and still have the train brakes and not be around. But burn up both work, burn up the train and the indie work and have a run on the train and not be able to stop the track. This episode, and then I will probably talk about Four of our attempts to be a big red button. That's a 40. The speed does increase that.
ready for the team. Where that weight decreases, it does decrease the percent. Descent let's go. Go back. I don't care. Get out. We don't have safe enough speed, so I'm just going to let you in. Just go loud and pull down. We haven't, as you can see, that that track for most of us hasn't been pretty much full for a little while. Which is good. Even though the train's only at just under there, just around three quarters of our maximum weight, the unit will still have difficulty.
Stuff. Waiting to ask the world. Sadly, this one is too long. Waiting to ask the world. Fifty seven minutes to go. Well, anyway, time bonus for 48 minutes. We still have um, 11,000. I've done some damage as well. You have damaged them. 
I'm pretty sure it's glitched out on this side. I'm gonna call it this side. Yeah, no, it's glitched. I think it's a thing. Four in the morning. So, I hope you enjoyed watching.